Hi, my name is Ben Gibbard. I'm Dave Depper. And we're from Death Cab for Cutie. We're here at Canner's Deli. And this is how it went down with our song, Gold Rush. I built the song around a, a sample of a Yoko Ono song called Mind Train. But when we went into the studio in Santa Monica with Rich Costi, our producer, he asked about that song. And I remember him saying, like, I mean, just dismissed it, saying, like, well, the lyrics are kind of shitty. And, but he was like, oh, no, there's something here in the, in the music. There's, you should do something with that. So I had had two or three songs that were kind of, I had written about the relationship between memory and, and geography and, uh, and how Seattle itself has changed, our city, our hometown has been changing. So I was able to kind of take lyrics from a couple songs that didn't make the cut and, you know, splice them in in a way that I think worked out really effectively. Um, we were about two months into recording the record and we'd kind of tackled songs methodically but hadn't gotten to Gold Rush yet and we had a a Thanksgiving break, like two weeks off, and I was at home staying with my parents because I'd sublet my house while we were recording the record in Santa Monica. I went into my spare room at my parents' house and was fiddling around on my laptop and through the magic of technology changed the chords around a little bit and actually changed the vocal melody Ben was singing and we brought the song back and it seemed to work out and that ended up being the sort of bridge or dropout verse that uh, is the third verse in the song, I guess. Mm. I've described these monuments a false sense of permanence and place faith in geography to hold you in my memory. Dot, dot, dot. On the day we were supposed to start working on Gold Rush with Rich in the studio, I, I was kind of like, Rich, how do you envision us playing along with this sample? Because the sample seemed very kind of fully formed. It had guitar, bass, and drums on it. And he said, Nick and Jason are just going to play along with the sample. And I, I said, that sounds crazy, but sure, I'm, I'm willing to be proven wrong. And literally within seconds of them playing along, it sounded basically exactly like uh, the finished product ended up turning out. It was, it, it was huge and very exciting in a way that this band hasn't explored before. I was, I was concerned about the universality of this song because it is such a, it's from a perspective of a you know, 41 year old man talking about the past 20 years of his adulthood rather than a song you know, about how tonight's gonna be the best night ever, or whatever. <laughs> you know, I feel like I wrote this song for people who've shared this feeling about how the city they love has changed. When our personal histories are kind of erased from the landscape, um, you know, that's something that one has to grapple with and it can be kind of difficult. And there is an emotional toll, a spiritual toll that the city takes on when, you know, it changes so rapidly. And it was proven almost immediately resonant um, when weeks after the single came out, it was announced that the Showbox, which is a beloved Seattle music institution venue, was, is scheduled to be demolished unless we do something about it. Follow me, follow me.